Hello, today I'm gonna be looking at different models of inner tubes that I am using uh, in my road bike. Um, starting from the, the first one is a black bottle inner tube, well known. The second one comes from Vittoria company. It makes from mixture of latex and rubber. Uh, and the second one comes from Tubulito company uh, and it's made from high thermoplastic material. I don't know much about this material. Probably its specification is kind of secret of manufacturer. What I can say only is that uh, those two guys who established Tubulito company, they were producing air plugs for uh, mobile phones. Uh, and then they made a transition to uh, bicycle market. Mm. So probably they are leveraging from kind of material experience in that, that area. Uh, all right. Uh, first of all, I am comparing apples to apples. So those three models are dedicated for tire width from 25 to 28 millimeters, uh, which is uh, um, uh, standard in, for, for road bike. For, but probably most of you are riding uh, with that tire width. Uh, bottle tube, lower uh, uh, price. Yeah, so this is the cheapest one. Uh, but high rolling resistance, which is the result of uh, of uh, big mass. So it's more than 100 grams. The second one, Victoria Competition, 80 grams, made from latex. The lower rolling resistance. Um, Tubulito, 40 grams. Rolling resistance is higher than latex. Uh, so you might, you might think that why is that, yeah? But this is probably because uh, rolling resistance is the result of two factors. Uh, first is, uh, of course, rotational weight, which in this case is the smallest, yeah? But also uh, it's dependent on the friction between tire and uh, inner tube, yeah? So because Tubulito inner tube is made from kind of plastic material and it's a bit sleek, uh, this is the reason that the rolling resistance is not the best because it's the, the lower weight is compensated somehow by the, by, the, by the material type, which is a very sleek. It's not that... Uh, grippy as a, as a, a latex mixture used to uh, used in Victoria competition uh, inner tubes yeah so uh, my experience is that I got the best feeling while riding uh, with latex tubes uh, also when it comes to puncture resistance I never had uh, any problems with latex tubes of course, I am riding uh, with disc brakes and uh, important thing is that those latex tubes are not recommended if you ride uh, rim brakes because uh, rim brakes uh, transfer the temperature while, while you are braking to the rim and the rim transfers temperature to the tube and uh, latex is a bit more sensitive to temperature in comparison to bottle. So uh, it might happen that uh, while you are uh, descending, uh, it might blow up, yeah? So um, I never had any, uh, uh, that kind of problems because I'm riding disc brakes. Um, yeah, and this one is the lightest, but the manufacturer claims that the puncture resistance is twice as good as in, in case of normal bottle tubes. I don't think it's true. Uh, overall quality of, um, I mean, durability is not that good because uh, I found many people on the web, web complaining that uh, there are some air uh, leaks, especially in the area around the valve core, uh, which is like feature out of the box. So it, for some people it happened that uh, Brand new Tubulito uh, had a, 
had a problem with Erlik. So it's, of course, it was not my case. So this is what I found on the web. In my case, I get a puncture uh, with those tubes. And the problem is that I was not able to track down the reason of this puncture. So I just found a thin hole uh, somewhere uh, within the inner tube. Uh, and I didn't find any hole uh, outside of of the of the tire, yeah. So tire su surface was not uh, uh, not damaged in any way, yeah. So I don't know what caused this. I think it's fifty percent. It's like probability that it was problem result of of the technology used. Maybe the, uh, this tube was so thick at some point that uh, it caused the the leak after you know um after more than 1000 kilometers of riding yeah so i don't know um uh, i switched to latex um i was using latex uh, some time before and uh from my experience they are as durable as bottle tubes of course uh some people are claiming that there are some air leaks and you have to pump up this from time to time but uh, it it was not my case i still feel that this is the best deal uh, a bit lighter than this but whole better rolling resistance uh, in comparison to bottle tubes especially if you write with lower tire pressure if you write like four or four and a half psi uh, this is um, this is the way to go because uh, the lower tire pressure, uh, the bigger differences in rolling resistance be between those models. So if you write lower tire pressure, either one, all bottle or tubo liter are not as as good as latex uh, this difference decreases while you are approaching uh, higher pressure like 8 uh, psi or something like this i will uh, put a link to the chart where you can compare all the features of those three models i, I mean technologies yeah so uh, what i can say at the end uh, is that um, um, puncture resistance in case of those two uh, models are the same. Rolling resistance in case of latex is the best. The price is uh, two times bottle and uh, two bolito is more than two times uh, latex, which led me to conclusion that it's not overall good deal because you don't get the better performance in terms of rolling resistance than while you're using uh, latex tubes and also uh, from my point it's not very reliable solution uh, in terms of puncture resistance or overall durability so maybe it's a it depends on the model because uh, tubulito produces you know many types of tubes uh, they are more dedicated to sport and uh, this one is kind of medium range it's not the lightest one uh, but it's far lighter than those two guys yeah all right so thank you very much and see you next time